Hi. Hi. How are we doing? I told you, four o'clock-ish. I didn't let you down. <laughs> but uh, I'm so happy. Justin Sinclair. Hi, y'all. Give a big clap to my buddy, Justin Sinclair. I'm so happy that you're on. Oh, my God. Thank you for having me here. My pleasure. My pleasure. I have thought about you for, for months. I said, uh, when I got an idea for interview show, you were on my mind, like, right off the bat. Oh, thank you. As it was. And then I saw Justin at uh, a party. Yes. A couple of weeks ago. Yeah, the Mr. Warburton party. Mr. Warburton party. Yeah. So you're the, well, just, you know, get right to it. You actually, the new... Creative director? No, I'm Mr. the Warburton? new beauty director. Of the, new beauty yeah. director. the new yeah. beauty director. Oh, that's fantastic. It's been an amazing journey. And yeah. um, as you know, yes. uh, I've known Derek Warburton for many years. Many years. Um, and uh, it's just an honor and a privilege to be part of something that he's created. Yeah. And um, Well, it takes a team. It, it does take a team. team. It yeah. takes a team. Absolutely. And, and your makeup is stunning. Oh my God, thank you. Oh no, no, it's beautiful. I researched, I looked on Instagram and I, you've been doing makeup for. It's been 20 years. 20 years. 20 plus years. And he's only 20, so he started doing makeup <laughs> when he was born, essentially. <laughs> if only I would 20. <laughs> oh, you're a young man and you're absolutely stunning. And your thank heart you. just shines through. Look at this face, gang. Show uh, them how, look how beautiful he is. Hello. I mean, your heart shines through. Face anyway. We actually have the viewers. Thanks for ever watching. Yeah. Hi, thank Joe. You, thank you. Joe from New Jersey. Oh, huh? Hi, Thanks, Joe. Joe. This is Justin Sinclair. I met Justin Sinclair in the Miami days. Yes. At Atomic day. Funk. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. yes Atomic indeed. Funk. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That yes. was that was so long ago, but not like 2004, 5, 6, 7, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I met the Atomic Funk Derek in 2002. Oh my gosh. 2002. And, and I've known Derek since 1998. Right. Now, did you meet in New York? You guys? No. We met in Miami. He literally, so many years ago, I worked yeah. for Todd Oldham. Mm. I used to and manage. Todd Oldham? Uh, Todd Oldham is an American Sorry. designer. He was sort of came up with Anna Sui and Mark Jacobs and was a part of uh, that time period. Wow. I mean, he's a part of this time period too. Yeah. But was known he as a designer. He does a lot of Mark Jacobs. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and he had a boutique on South Beach. Oh, wow. On 8th Street. It was the bomb back then. Oh, it was amazing. Such fond memories. It's weird because it feels like yesterday and then it was so long ago. I know. It's nothing <laughs> like South Beach, man. Anybody that got to experience South Beach in the 90s, uh, it was That was golden magic. It was right before um, rap took over. <laughs> Oh, the, the Winter Music Conference yeah. came in. Yes, yeah. yes, And yes. changed South Beach, like, dramatically. South Beach has changed. Like, there's been so much change in South Beach. Yeah. It went through so many iterations of itself, and I feel like it's become, oh, I, I haven't been back in a while, so I can't what it's become, but it changed from being a small community to this big sort of mm. hub. I mean, it always has mm. been. I mean, Miami yeah. has always been yeah, this yeah. super... Um, uh, multicultural international hub. For sure, for sure. But the beach went from feeling mm. like, at mm. least to me, this uh, intimate community that would kind of explode at winter mm. time oh, yeah, yeah, becoming yeah. like the destination of destination. True, so true, so true. But I think that, the, do you remember back in the day in Miami, every corner, I mean, Atomic Funk was right on Lincoln Road and every corner had a fashion shoot. Oh yeah, it was. It was ridiculous. It was, Every yeah. corner had had a different uh, fashion. Yeah, fashion shoot going on. It, it, I I feel like anywhere that I've ever been, mm -hmm. um, it because it was such a, a, a small geography. Yeah, it, that there was always something fabulous going on. Always, you know? and it and it it was juxtaposed or or set into this gorgeous beach community warm, where everything breezy, was breezy, balmy, was sexy. Like the winter time, so it was warm. Miami, Cavalli, Cavalli, Versace, Cavalli, like Versace. Thing. <laughs> it was the big dudes with the cigars, with a woman wearing Cavalli, uh, uh, Cavalli on both ends of them. Back in that day, yeah, it was. It yeah, was. yeah. So, okay, so. We took a little memory down. We took a little trip down memory lane because that's where we met, Justin and I. But I want to talk more about, about uh, what's going on now. And you know what I found out that I did not know about you that you're also a perfumer. I am. You have um, a line. I do. What? I have three perfumes. 
Um, and we are in the process of getting them um, to become widely available. Well, now, what is the name of the available. perfumes? What is it? So my, as, as you know, my name is I Dustin heard it St. smells Claire. wonderful, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm actually wearing one. Yeah, yeah. can I smell? Yeah. Oh my God, it's delicious. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. It really like made me sweat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. Oh, so okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So it, it's been something that I, you know, it was a hobby I started. Wow. It kind of came out of like having acne actually. Wow. In my early 20s. And I started to learn how to mix my own toner with essential oils. And then a friend of mine sold essential oils and she got me more into it. And we did like Reiki and healing together. Mm. Um, and one day my mom called me up and she said, what are your hobbies? And I was like, uh, only a mother. I work and I hang out <laughs> with my friends. And I, was, I thought, to myself, oh my God, I don't have any proper hobbies. I need to get a proper hobby right away. <laughs> um, but it was true. And I was also kind of having a yearning for some, another creative outlet. Wow. Um, and so I taught myself perfumery. Um, and amazing. it's been a juicy, amazing journey. And when was this? Did mom tell you to get a hobby? So this was a while ago. This was like at least 10 years ago. Wow, 10 years already. Yeah. And it, you know, I, yeah, 10 years ago. And I Maison probably. Maison St. Clair? Is that the name of it? Yes. Maison St. Clair. Maison St. Clair. Maison St. Clair. Maison. It's just a Frenchification of my name. I love French perfume. It's my favorite. <laughs> so if it sounds anything like French, I'm in. Oh, there you go. Perfume <laughs> like, yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, it was inspired by wanting to create something that felt whimsical and, and fantastical at the same time. And wow. um, my middle name is actually St. Clair, which is the name I use for business. Yeah. Um, and oh, it was, that's interesting. Yeah, it was my grandfather's middle name. And then on my birth certificate, they spelt it incorrectly. They they gave it a French spelling. And so then I sort of, oh, well, then I'm going to- Oh my God, you lucked out. I'm uh, lucked out, I'm going to adopt that. I studied French in high school. Like my first love was French. So um, I'm like, why not? Oh, why not? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, I yeah. love it. But you're Jamaican. You're from Jamaica. I am, I am from Jamaica um, and have had the distinct privilege of being able to grow up between Jamaica and the United States. Yeah. So like, I'm Jamaican. Jamaican, um, I love that. Which is awesome. Beautiful. Um, and that's been. Uh, when did you uh, When did you journey. leave uh, Jamaica? Is your family so, still there? Your mom? Uh, most of my family still. Oh, still in Jamaica. Jamaica. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and I. They left must be so proud. Oh, mom, you must be so proud. I'm Come proud on. of them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> um, no, I do think they're proud. Yeah. Um, and I first left when I was a baby. Oh. We moved to Tyler, Texas. Oh my gosh, um, from Jamaica to Tyler, Texas. From Tyler, yep, Jamaica to Tyler, Texas. And that was really cool. Uh, I have some really beautiful, fond memories. Oh, of fantastic. My childhood in Texas, but well, I still sort of feel Texan, to be perfectly honest. And I hear a lot of good about Texas. Texas gets a bad rap. You know what? In some places, Texas gets a bad rap, and yeah. in other places, Texas is the best rap. So yeah. I love Texas. My sister lives in Dallas now. A lot of people move there now. Yeah. It's uh, such a fantastic place to live. and um, It's beautiful, actually. It is beautiful. It's incredible. I was shocked when I went to Texas how beautiful yeah. it was. Yeah. Really the beautiful. The landscape is like, wow, to die for. I when I hadn't been back for a long time, and I, I I went to do a photo shoot in Austin, and we were just for who? Are you um, the oh yeah, this was years ago. Oh. It was for American Eagle. Yeah. Um. And well, a few yeah, five years ago. Yeah. Um. And we were driving from one location to the other, and a storm was coming, and wow. I started to have this incredible feeling of nostalgia, and I was like, "What is this feeling?" And then I realized I was. I, I was remembering what it was like in my childhood because the surroundings were so familiar. Wow. And the way the air smells, the this, this sensation of being there, the vibration of the, the, the place and looking out over the, the sort of flat plains. Flat plains. I was, I was like, oh my God, it felt... Uh, Nostalgic, but, wow. but 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 you know what? Like when you remember yes, young things from your childhood, like whatever those sensory, cozy memories sensory are. Sensory perception, yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. And it smelled like oh, that wow. too. I was like, oh my god, the, the ozone or whatever it is was yeah. just. So oh, that's that was, awesome. Yeah, yeah. 
That's awesome. So you talk about uh, whimsical and things like that. And, uh, you know, I love how you're, you know, you just, you're so dreamy. And another thing that I did not realize that we spoke about a couple of weeks ago is you wrote a novel. Thousand yes. page? Uh, well, it depends not on how whimsical. many words per page. <laughs> Novel? I, and I wouldn't call it whimsical. What, it's a fantasy piece? <laughs> yes, it's a fantasy novel. We haven't um, even got to the, the fashion part yet. Uh, fantasy right. novel. <laughs> well, you know, creative people, we're always oh, putting yeah. more things into the cauldron. Wow. Sorry. That's some cauldron, let me tell you. Yeah. Okay, what's the name of it? Do you have a title yet? Um, so the working title at the moment is Inexorable. Inexorable. Um, but... Who knows what the real title will be? Yeah. We'll have to stay tuned to find out. Oh my goodness! Now, is it a novel? Is it? Is it it's a novel. Yeah. Um, and it's really the second um, large project that I've. Uh, well, I'm. I sh I've completed the first rough draft, and I am now wow. in the first rewrite. Uh -huh. So, I wouldn't say that it's complete. Yeah. How many pages? So, uh, if it's about. 250 words per page, then it's probably between, it's probably like seven to 800 pages, wow. somewhere in there. Is it a Westworld? Um, it's, it's definitely set in a kind of um, Mediterranean fantasy alternate so, wow. dimension. Oh, fantastic. I love, I come to find out, I love that stuff. Do you? Yes, I didn't realize, but I love it. Oh, amazing. The alternate dimension. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take me back or take me it's forward. a little bit of sci-fi, mm. a lot interstellar, of Interstellar, I love it. All that. Oh, yeah. That's Interstellar. Is such an extraordinary Where do you come up with an film. idea like that? How do you decide I'm going to write a... Uh... I, you know what? I think that... Well, I don't think. I know where, where yeah. it came from. Yeah. Um, being a makeup artist for many years, mm. um, it is a, a job that serves either your client or the vision you're trying to create or um, uh, something other than one's own pure fantasy, mm. if that makes any sense. Unless I am the sort of originator of the concept, then- You mean the conversations that you've had with all the other people through the years? <laughs> no, no, no. In terms of uh, my work as a makeup artist, Yeah serves it serves a, a it usually serves a creative endeavor or um the needs or desires of a person oh it's not As about a, the makeup it's about the yeah, yeah exa gotcha. exactly exactly okay. so my creative energy is then channeled mm -hmm. and that's really wonderful to mm -hmm. be able to be of service in that way is great but at the same time i wanted to get back to a place where I didn't have any boundaries and no channels to sort of fit in to wow. really feed my soul wow. on that level. Cause I love what I do, but I also yeah, wanted something that would allow me to kind of be outside of the box. Oh yeah. When you're prolific like yourself, there's always, you're always pushing the boundaries and got to get outside that box anyway, if, if, with a prolific person like you. I mean, it's, yeah, I think, I think, I mean, each person's experience in life is super individual, but yeah. um, when I look out at the world and look inwards at myself, I feel that um, we all have that desire to be liberated. Mm. Um, whatever that looks like for us, whatever that feels like for us, however we um, express it in the world. Um, and this, fell into my lap. I, I'd written in high school and I wrote a screenplay in, I think, 2007. Oh, yeah? Wow. Um, a feature? Uh, yeah. Oh, it, wow. It was, What's it called? Uh, it was called M M My Mother, My Son. I love it. Um, oh. And uh, it's it's sitting there. I need to dust it off and give it a little polish up again. Send yeah, well, it you out have to. to right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you have to. You have to. Get out there too. Yes. Put it in some festivals. You know what? I I, I have heard about some places that yeah. you can have your work read yeah. here in the fantastic world We're of in Hollywood. The, in the perfect spot for screenplays. Yeah. They actually need them. Yes. 
and I this one is kind of a bit of a cross genre. Um, and whereas when I wrote it in 20, well, 2007, um, I think that it may have been a bit too controversial for, let's say, a larger production company to take on. Um, and it was crossing genres and a bit longer than, you know, the hour and a half that, yeah, you know, the sort of... Yeah, they do it a little longer now, two, two, two hours, two twelve. Yeah, I mean every single uh, movie that was in the Oscars was two hours, two twelve, two fifteen. They're really stretching the boundaries these days. Yeah, if you have a good story, like like an epic story, like your fantasy pieces, people, I love a good two hour. I love a meaty long film. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I feel like if you if you hold and engage the person, then I'm happy to give that time. I love it. I go oh. on this this journey, and it's it's worth my while for it's, sure. For sure. For sure. I mean, 90 minutes is, you know, what's that, uh, what's that chat lifetime? Yeah. It's not a lifetime. Lifetime channel. No, I don't. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe a lifetime would want to make it. I don't know. I mean, you never know. <laughs> lifetime never know. that, you know, this yeah, you, you never know. That's why you got to get it out there. That's right. It, it's shocking. The minute that, you know, it, 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 it hits the airwaves on like, it could blow your mind on, on where it'll go. Well, if you'd like to read it, I'd be oh, more please than send happy it, to please share send it, it to me. Send it to me tonight. Okay. And um, I have a group that you could also re read it to and workshop it to that every Monday night that I go to. That they're really? always looking for feature scripts. Oh, my God. That you can present it and workshop it. It's a great group. It's a safe group If you, in case you're interested in uh, wall, if you're interested in actually workshopping it. Yeah. You do 10 pages a week. Okay. Yeah. So That's I'll let amazing. you know about that. Yeah, I'll yeah. send you uh, the email, and you can send it to Lee if you want to. Okay. And uh, you'll get 10 people to read it right away. Amazing. And yeah. then you can workshop it. That would be fantastic. I, I need to have a little yeah. quick read-through and see again. Yes. Um, I would love, uh, you know, look, you don't have to take it that far. I would love to read it. Thank you. Yes. I would love to care. read it. I would love to read it. So, oh, my gosh. So he's a novelist, a perfumist. I met, you know what, uh, you, you, you were my booker in New York. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Justin, <laughs> she, I mean, this is, this is how long Justin and I know each other. Hello. And you would, he would book me these great gigs in Manhattan on, on, on rooftops all over the city that one summer. I mean, it was absolutely the best time I ever had in New York during the summertime. Yeah. And then here you are, uh, 15 years later, you're a novelist, you're a perfumer and you just got the, you're the beauty director, director Mr. for Mr. Warburg, the magazine. The, this magazine is so out of the box and so phenomenal. And um, uh, uh, Veronica's is on the next cover, the one, the one star. So, um, no, the Veronica's was the, was the very first cover. First. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure who's going to be on the next cover. Oh, that will be I, a secret to be oh, revealed. Oh, I think I had lunch with uh, Mr. Warburton mm -hmm. and he might have mentioned. He might have mentioned. We'll take, we'll take that back. <laughs> we'll take that back. But uh, you have some spicy, just like famous, famous you're like St. Dion's uh, beauty guy. I'm so honored it's to true. have had the most wonderful opportunity to work with Celine Dion. She yeah. is so wonderful. Wow. Um, and of course, as you can imagine, that's been uh, just a pinnacle experience in my life. Wow. My mother's on there. She's like, oh my God, Celine Dion is her favorite. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hi. Yeah. And she looks beautiful. I, I looked up Instagram and my God, I mean, she looks so fresh and so just gorgeous. It's like your makeup, like you, you, you know, you're like full of makeup, but it's so like beautiful and fresh. It's just like, Aww. it's an extension of her face. Really. I think it's really super, super beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah. And, and <laughs> She is the most wonderful person, so wow. I'm just honored. Did he do her Met Gala, right? Yes, I did. And what twice. was that like? Two Met Galas. The Met Gala is, uh, I, it's been for me again another pinnacle experience. It's the dream of dream, I think, for for certainly for myself, and I imagine for anyone who works in fashion. Oh yes. Um, it, it's the the. the the Oscars of fashion, if I can say it that. It is the Oscars of fashion. <laughs> My God, forget it. It's um, and it's. Uh, I, I, Where were you? Where did you put on the makeup and everything? Were well, you like it's in, in, it's in New York City. No, you were in Manhattan, of course. But 
Yes. Like, I mean, was in her apartment or, or no, like, no, no, a, no, no, uh, no. like the plaza or a secret location, a secret, secret location. Secret location. Okay. We never divulge. We never divulge. Never divulge. Uh, Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. So you got a secret location. But, yeah, um, yeah it, you know, uh, it's a, an incredible experience um, wow. to have had the honor and the privilege to um, work with Celine and yeah. to be able to be a part of something as distinguished and and How did she find out about as you? The, as the Met Ball. Wow. Um, so... She found out about me through um, my agent mm -hmm. and um, Charlotte Tilbury, who is my mentor. Line, right? yeah. Charlotte Tilbury, yeah. You yeah. do a lot of her work for her as well. So I met her, wow, I met Charlotte in 2004, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes, 2004. Mm -hmm. So we've known each other for a long time and I've worked with her over the years and she has been an amazing mentor mm -hmm. and um changed my life in ways that i will forever be grateful for and wow which is completely surprising springboarded career wow Every, i would say that you know uh, so many of the highlights of my career mm -hmm. have been because she believed in me and mm -hmm. i will forever be grateful to her and she's amazing she's just wow wonderful wow that's that's so, so nice to hear that you're uh that, that there's really some super fantastic kind people out there along the way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you can't get anywhere without it. No. Yeah. No. You have to have, you have to have some people that, that, uh, care. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I feel that I've been so fortunate to, um, have, have, have met people in my life who, yeah. um, have seen me yeah. and been, been so generous and but we and see kind. you though you're so kind and he's so sweet i'm not surprised we oh. do see you darling you're thank a you. wonderful thank you wonderful person oh thank it's you very true. much so are you i'm okay you're amazing <laughs> i'm okay and so let's talk about the uh louis vuitton the the man uh, you also did the makeup for the uh yes i ha i had a it was such a brilliant um, experience. Campaign, wow. Yeah. To, and I mean, it's Louis Vuitton, so it's the whole experience wow. is just gorgeous. That's yeah. the best way to, to describe it. How long does it, it take to do something like that? How many days is the, uh, the um, campaign list? I, I can't remember. Yeah. I think it was two or three days, um, which I've been on campaigns that are quite a bit longer than that. Right. Um, and For who? I mean, uh, well, you go on, like, if you're shooting yeah. in multiple locations, sure, like sure. in the passive shot for American mm -hmm. Eagle, and yeah. you're shooting in multiple locations yeah. for a season, and so it lasts a few more days than that. Those um, campaigns were the best, I remember. It was oh. the American Eagle, the J.C. Penney's, all those ads where you, like, worked all consistently, like. Yeah, it's. It was a are, lot of work from the American Eagles and the, you know. Yeah, it's been, uh, th th I've just been so fortunate to have had some of those really amazing experiences where you get to travel and meet mm -hmm. new people and um, work in, in this incredibly talented mm -hmm. and um, uh, team that, that just is constantly sort of pushing boundaries and doing things that, mm -hmm. you know, I, I find yourself in the most wonderfully absurd places, like on, you know, at the top of a building somewhere. Right. And, under a waterfall or you know we weren't under a waterfall but that kind oh of that thing. was fashion for me i was gaga all the time with the places we used to wind up i used, yes. to, I used to love it that was my my favorite thing just to yeah. watch people create these things that i was just absolutely with the hair and the makeup and the locations i was it used to blow my mind yeah it yeah. really used to blow my mind it's so the fantasy world that the you fantasy can live in and just, it can be real it can be unreal it can be surreal <laughs> yeah it was People have no idea the the energy on sets. I mean, it is tangible. Yes, the energy. If you get on a set with the right people, with the most, with with the some good talented people, it's an it's an experience into itself. Yeah, regardless yeah. of who you're doing or what or what clothes they have, you know, it's the energy of the collaborative work effort. Really, is loved it. Yeah, yeah. There is an electricity there, mm -hmm. um, a sense of being plugged in, and how. Become, present yes mm. yeah it's awesome yes i saw you the last time i saw you in person before a couple weeks ago was on a ferry 
we were leaving Fire Island and we were going on. We had a, a, a oh wow, that was quite a few years ago. Yes, we were doing oh, Fire Island. Yeah, it was oh, Fire oh, Island. Oh, and we were on um, Fire Island. Yeah, <laughs> it was an experience that day. We shot. I forget. I forget exactly what we shot, but we did a campaign for some guy in a house, and you were headed over there. Yeah, and we all had lunch together, and that's got to be uh, that's a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was in New York for 12 and a half years. Yeah. And mostly makeup. You did uh, just yeah, building your, that your was make all makeup. Yeah. For that building time. your career. Wow. Yeah. Uh, any really memorable moments in Manhattan, you know? Uh, oh, wow. Um, can you think of anything? That yeah. Just so many memorable moments. Mm. Um, I had one of the most beautiful love affairs of my life mm. with a French man named Francois, Ooh, so um, which was of course that so much was, French. I know so much French. Um, so that was that was really mm -hmm. awesome, um, and I built a career as a makeup artist, which wow. was incredibly awesome too. Yeah. Uh, and then I got to play and have fun and go to places like Fire Island and make lifelong friends and just nothing really, like New York. Nothing like New York. It's just you can't even. So then you wind up in uh, Los Angeles, which is which is a fantastic move. When did you yeah. decide that uh, it was time to come to LA? So, not to be a cliche, but I'm gonna be yeah. a cliche. Yeah, <laughs> I always wanted right. to come here ever since I was a little kid. My, Hollywood, baby. My favorite movie was Xanadu. Oh and no, I, I love it. Totally like running in front of the sign with the each letter. So lighting up good. as you go by. I used to dream about what I'd wear on the plane. So a lifelong fantasy dream. And then I was in New York for 12 and a half years and um, I got to a stage where I thought, you know what? I want to have a different experience. Um, not just with, with work, but with the relationship that I have with myself and the natural world and my environment and my lifestyle and move to LA to have that experience, mm -hmm. and I definitely did. Mm -hmm. um, when did you move to LA? So it'll be in April 28th. It will have been five years. It's yeah. a great town. It is a great town. I love California. I do too. I do too. It's an amazing state. And I mean, LA, it was like, I've had some of the best days of my life and some of the most challenging days of my life in this city. Wow. Um, and what you expecting? Yes and no. Mm. Um, it was the change I expected. It was a little bit harder than I wanted it to be <laughs> at times. I had a little bone to pick here and there with the divine. <laughs> um, Don't we all? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. But, um, you know, of course, all of those um, experiences which were challenging were also gifts and mm. allowed me to move forward and are still allowing me to move forward. I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful every day for the new mini internal revelations that I have about who I am and my relationship to life and the divine and so on and so forth. Yeah. Well, it's all about lessons anyway. Everything can't come super smooth. That's right. If it did, it would kind of be boring, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it, you know, it's kind of like scraping off the rough edges to get us ready for, you know, the the big challenges. Yes. Yes. How long have you been here now? Ah, uh, almost five years, six years. I always say five years, five years, but it's back and forth six years. First time mm -hmm. I had a terrible attitude and I hated it. And then I, you know, I brushed myself off and said, okay, Dina, you've got to go back. And you know mm -hmm. how I got here from Mr. Mr. Warburton. Yeah. I told him I wanted to be a filmmaker. He said, well, if you're going to be a filmmaker, you got to go to school in L.A. So right. mm -hmm. that's what I did. Derek will always tell you like it is. <laughs> he'll, always tell you, he'll, he'll always, always, always tell you like it is. Mm -hmm. And then nine months later, I signed. it took me two weeks later, I was signed up for school, and nine months later, I came. Amazing. And I never had a desire to come to California, and I say, thank God I did, because I just absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. California is a magical, special, amazing What a blast. Place. Yeah, it's what a blast. It's it's all about it's all about perspective. Oh, absolutely. It's all about perspective. So tell me, when is is the uh, you're going to publish a book? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, right now I'm in the process of rewriting and juggling all the I told you about. Yeah, you so said to rewrite all that. Yes. Yeah. So that that will take a bit of time because I'm 
and doing all those things at the same time. <laughs> right. You have the something else that you work with. You just you you. Um, I do have readers. You send it off with the readers, yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's. Yeah. Um, I have readers, and what I do is, as I revise, mm -hmm. then I bash together a few chapters and I send it to them, and, and they read and they give me their feedback, and yeah. so that's really great because for a number of years it was just me saying I'm writing a book in my. Uh-huh. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. I'll have yeah. another drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you have a, 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 a 800 page. You yeah. did it. I was like, I have it. It exists. It's real. I swear. Oh, and that's the main, that's the, that's the whole, that's the whole different. There it is. It's done. It's, yeah. that's such a, an amazing accomplishment. Not many people can say that they actually wrote a 800 page and I'm sure it's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, no. I'm sure it's I'm wonderful. Gonna work until it's wonderful. <laughs> you should also have to, you know, make a uh, series out of it. You know what? That It's funny yeah. because when I first had the idea for a book, I yeah. thought I would write another screenplay. Yeah. Um, and I started to write a screenplay. And something inside of me said, no, this needs to be a book. And then from a book, it can become a screenplay. Yeah. A TV series, whatever yeah, it series. can. Yeah. And then the as I started to write the idea, it got bigger and bigger, and I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh no, this is crazy!" Like, am I having one of How those? How often did you write? I, I so, there for a while. Were you prolific there for a while? Did you get so to two years was really intense. Wow. Where like so a lot of writing. Yeah. And the universe. Two years. Wow. Moved things into place so that I would actually be able to devote myself to it. Yeah. Um, wow, I love that. So it was. It was. It was really good that I had that sort of chunk of time where I really sort of Beautiful. pulled down on it. Yeah, two years. Huh? Um, but the, the idea for the book I think came in 2013. Wow. I started it in 2014, and then it was very sort of pitter-patter until two years ago. Wow. And then, bam. Yeah, 2017, 2018, that was when the majority of the book was written. Yeah, because once you put it down on the page is when it really starts flowing. Yes. And then you start like looking at it. That was my it. experience. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wait. So tell me all of the things you've No, no. I wrote a I thought it was hot stuff when I wrote a 105 page feature feature, never mind a 700 page. Oh. But in the similar aspect when I started writing is when really the ideas started flowing even more. I mean, yeah. like I had the first 30 pages I Yeah. forever. Yeah, you know, double yeah. dabble, double dabble. But when I really made a commitment, yes, I I was I I wrote like seventeen pages a week. I was like I was blown away at the process. Yeah, and no matter what, I didn't. I'm not even a writer. I did it. You are a writer now. I am. Apparently, yeah, apparently. Yeah, but uh, I can't wait uh, for you to. Forget to get this. Will you publish from a company or self-publish? What do you? What do you think? Um, what do you think I'm going to definitely go after a publisher. Go after a publisher. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My goodness, I can't wait to see that book in the bookstore. And you'll be going on tour. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it in my head. I see. I see the book tour. I see. I see it. I, I mean, do too. Oh my god, it's so it's so exciting. It's yeah. so exciting. So. What else? What else? Oh, I checked out your Instagram and it's just like one. Let's get back to the makeup a little bit because it's really the bulk of uh, where your creativity starts and ends is, you know, what makes you, uh, you know, where does the, where does the idea for the, for the ideas, for the palette, for the, all these clean, beautiful, you know, where does, did you go to school? Um, no, you I did not I, go to school. I didn't go to school for, yeah. I, I, I went to school for, for liberal arts and yeah but yeah. I didn't go to school for makeup and um, I was actually um, living in London mm. um, I was back in drama school because performing arts was my first love um, and I was waiting tables and I thought yeah. if I have to ask what kind of mustard you want one more time and my face hurts as much as it does at the end of the day from slam I will pour a glass of water on my head. So I was with a friend who was also an artist. She's, she is a singer and an actress. Yeah. Um, and I'd done her makeup a couple of times. But, you know, like, as we were, like, when we were we play. playing, you know? Yeah. And she was like, how did you be a makeup artist? And I was like, oh, no, I'm not meticulous enough for that. Um, but I thought, well, I can wait tables or I can work in a makeup store. Right. And I was like, makeup shop. 
Um, Ron did that makeup shop. Yeah. And it was really amazing. I got a job at Space NK in, at in London? Gold Street in London. Wow. Um, of course you did. And uh, it just, the shoe just fit. Wow. Um, she was right. You should be a makeup artist. You, geez, and it was all it. hands on. You just learned it. Yeah. Wow. And well, I, I'm, I, you know, all hands on. And, and then I, as I said before, Charlotte Tilbury is my mentor. So I, I, mm. I learned such a tremendous amount from her, her technique, her business style, just so many things. Right. Did you use her makeup for Celine Dion for the uh, the meds and all that? So I use my you? favorite brands yeah. are um, well, definitely Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, Charlotte. I love, we love I Charlotte. Love, yeah. I love Charlotte. Yeah. I, I never divulge what I use on my clients. Yeah. But um, lots of secrets. Um, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite lines. Yes. Um, I, but there's so many. I mean, there's yeah. like uh, just countless, and I feel like each brand. Um, specializes mm -hmm. in uh, um, something that weighs like a hero product in a line right. um, or hero products in a line. Right. Um, and there's, it, it's just a, an, an, an unending cor cornucopia of mm -hmm. new glorious things that come along. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I have a favorite, there's another one. Mm -hmm. The beauty companies are like the best. Why don't you start a line? Oh you God. have any ideas of starting a line? So, you know what? Line? I, I thought about it. Yes. Um, and in order to, because it's such a saturated market, yeah. Um, I really feel that um, starting a makeup line would really, for me at least, yeah. I would need to feel that what I was creating was making a difference mm. to people and filling a need that exists in the market as opposed to just making another product. Right. Um, because... Do you hear that Shane Dawson? That Shane Dawson who never did makeup before in his life? He sold the most amount of makeup online in one day. Oh, wow. Yes. That's fantastic. Was some kind of, yeah, him and Jeffree Star. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's we live at a time in history where things are, are, are we're able to do things now because of our technology. Yeah. And the, the expansion that, of mine that goes along with that huge explosion of technology. Oh yeah, uh, that just like this, like we're on now. Yeah, exactly. It's fantastic. We're we're able to reach. Who cares about Facebook? Yeah. YouTube's got two billion people. Yeah, exactly. You can reach so many yeah. people. Yeah, you can literally reach two billion people. Like yeah, right now, so anybody from all over the world could click in. Exactly. Exactly. It's so exciting. And that that is extraordinary. There's yeah. never been a time in our own history yeah. that we've been able to do that. And I think that, you know, um, there's so many things mm. that are dynamic and, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Abraham Hicks says, you know, we live in the, the cutting edge. It's it just, it's endless. The leading edge, sorry. Yeah, it's just endless. There's just so it's much. It's endless. You can, you can just about do anything you want. You just have to, you have to start from the beginning. Yeah. It's and just, just, you know, exercise that courage muscle. Yeah, it's all know? its all about the fear, just breaking the wall of fear. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, courage means that fear is present, but that you... Yeah, it's not that you're not afraid. You yeah, just do it anyway. You just do it anyway. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's that audaciousness. Mm. Um, I think you have to have audacity, too, because yeah. one of the things that, that I think, mm. it's not always present, but it can, it can, it can show itself through our... our our media more easily now is is um, dissent and criticism mm -hmm. of of what you're trying to accomplish, um, and uh, you know whether it was from your parents as a child or yeah. from your community or a teacher said this or this person said that. Yeah, you sort of when you when you face um, adversity. Um, you get that opportunity. Oh yeah, when you when you when you hit your first really major uh, heartbreak. Yes. And you push through, and you're on the side, and you see, wow. Yeah. I do heal. I do. I you know I can't be happy. You know, in, in spite of this. Yes. And your forties are fantastic, and your fifties are even, you know, just as fantastic. 
All I can say yeah. is that I am looking forward to every day ahead of me. Oh, I, you have <laughs> such a bright, just such a bright light, such, you take it on this whole new uh, journey with Mr. Warburton and then yeah. you, who knows where your book will take you. Yes. And, you know, more perfume and just, you know, more clients. And it's just such an exciting, such an exciting time for you. I'm so, I'm so happy um that you came here today oh my goodness that we had a chance i am to, so thankful that I'm you so, yeah, me invited so. me and it's 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 been an honor yes. and a joy to have known you for as long as i you have you too my doll um and this is really wonderful you've given me an opportunity to share with you thank and you so much. share with others and it's thank you yeah. thank you doll. Mm -hmm. this way mm -hmm. thank you again <laughs> Justin Sinclair. Well, bye. bye. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.